Sorry. I'm Doug Biesecker, with a physicist with NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder, Colorado. Over the last three days, we had three large solar flares with large explosions of mass, plasma and magnetic field erupting from the sun that's headed towards the Earth. Should you be worried? No. The average person is not going to feel any effect from this. However, systems we depend on will be impacted. For example, the power grid will certainly see fluctuations in the transmission part of the grid that the power operators will handle so that it never hits your home. Airlines have already seen some communications outages as a result of these eruptions, and these may get worse tomorrow when the first of the big plasma clouds hits the Earth, beginning about midnight tonight, Colorado time. On Tuesday, we had the first eruption from the sun, a massive solar flare that launched a huge coronal mass ejection, a big cloud of plasma and magnetic field. It's hurtling towards the Earth at 2 million miles an hour. Sounds like a big number, but it has to cross 93 million miles. That's, that's why it's taking so long to get here. Then on Wednesday, the sun launched another one. One of these CMEs is coming at us at 3 million miles an hour. So it's catching up to that first one. Well, then this morning, the sun decided to launch a, a third one at 5 million miles an hour. It's going to catch up to the first two, and all three of those are expected to hit beginning tonight, sometime around midnight and throughout the day tomorrow. If the outages that, that we expect to happen, the airlines are on alert to reroute the routes over the poles that would be impacted. Uh, GPS users using high accuracy GPS for mining, for drilling, for surveying, for, for farming uh, have to worry that their GPS won't be what they need tomorrow. Um, probably the biggest impact you as a user will, uh, as, as a member of the general public will notice, is the aurora. The aurora is that beautiful display of the of the northern and southern lights. And so if you live in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Michigan, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Scandinavia, uh, Russia, Scotland, as long as it's not raining, you have a good chance of seeing aurora sometime in the next uh, 24 hours. We're seeing images of the sun in real time from satellites. And all the activity that we're, we're expecting is coming from this active region. We see these CMEs coming towards us as massive rings of material that surround the sun. This is a forecast model we have that shows us what is going to be happening. In the center, we can see the sun. The Earth is over here. First, we're going to see one CME erupt, followed closely by a second CME right here, followed immediately by a third right there. And that last one's traveling the fastest running into the two in front of it, and they're all going to emerge just as they hit the Earth. Well, the Space Weather Prediction Center is the nation's official source of watches, warnings, and alerts. This means we're watching the sun continuously, 24-7, keeping users, the, the, the industries, government, aware of anything that's happening on the sun that could impact them so they can protect their systems to keep the country running.